Awesome. Well, first of all, congratulations on making it to this far. Thank and you. You have an awesome team, very strong. Um, both teams' stats were very similar. You know, you had um, very similar levels of play. Where do you think your team fell short tonight? We definitely got out tough on the rebounds. They got rebounded us by um, close to 20. So um, I thought they did an excellent job. I thought they played really tough, and, and we responded. I was really proud of that. But rebounding, we, <clears throat> we suffered that. We missed the big one at the end. And then um, offensively, we couldn't get a lot going. Um, and credit to their defense. Which players do you think performed exceptionally well tonight? Um, you know, I didn't even really get a chance to look at our stat sheet. I know, you know, you know, I'm proud of our team because, you know, Abby Phelan, who's senior number 21, really stepped up in our press tonight. Um, you know, on any given night, she wasn't someone that really stepped up in the last game in our championship, but stepped up real well tonight. Macy had some big shots, our captain, number 11. Um, you know, and, and Izzy Booth played real tough. Uh, I think Janaya Jones played her butt off, usually always does, big catalyst for us on defense. It's very even keel. I just think we, we lack the flow on defense, and I think they did an excellent job. Yeah. I mean, on offense, they did an excellent job on defense. Uh, I mean, at this level of play, it's so competitive, and, you know, the, the, the players are exceptional. So what were the keys coming into this game to um, staying competitive against a team such as St. John Fisher? Yeah, we, um, <clears throat> they have a lot of weapons on the offensive end um, one through four, so our goal was to really limit the three-point shot and then and really limit touches for number 14, their center, um, who does an excellent job getting the ball inside. You know, I, th I thought we lacked right off the bat. We Our focus to, to really contest that three-point shot wasn't all there. Um, we were definitely, our defense wasn't as sharp as it should have been in the first half um, in that first quarter, and that's how we fell behind early and give them credit, we caught up, but we were trailing the whole time. What plays, um, like at the very last timeout, what plays did you set up during that, um, knowing you were down by three points and there was only so much time left? Yeah, we were trying to get <clears throat> two looks for a three. Um, and then, you know, we told them early on in the first part, if you if you could get a quick two and then foul, but we were trying to go for the three. Um, but, you know, it just didn't work out. Yeah. I know you were back and forth. I mean, you were down by 18, and you came back right before halftime. What were the emotions going through the entire game? Like I said, you were down, you came back, and then even up to the very end, it was such a close game. What Can you kind of go step by step from the beginning of the game to halftime um, up until the very end? What emotions were you going through? Yeah, I think <clears throat> right off the bat, I think they we almost were a little bit timid in the sense of we got down by a lot quickly. Um, once we went put on our press, that's kind of our specialty, we started getting steals. I, our confidence started to get, you know, we started to feel that confidence and we really fought. I mean, I thought we showed a lot of grit um, and a lot of toughness. We forced a lot of steals. I think we put them on their heels. So we felt really good going to the half. Um, you know, I think it was just a matter of we, could, we had to get some stops and stop trading baskets. So we never really could take, we never really took the lead. I think we tied it at one point. Yeah, um, that was kind of leading to my next question. Like, um, you went into halftime, into the break, only being down by two points. And um, what types of conversations were going on in that locker room before you went back out on the court and eventually tied it up and took the lead? We, we worked on the adjustments with the press because we knew they would make adjustments. Uh, we wanted to stick with that. Um, you know, when we talked about trying to get into a rhythm offensively um, and what would work for us better just to space the floor because they were doing a really good job. We weren't able to really get downhill and get to the basket. Um, so we talked about that and getting flow. We talked about getting out rebounded. I think we were um, getting out rebounded by 10 at halftime and that was something we were, we're not used to. Um, you know, we a couple players for them, for St. John Fisher, were in foul trouble, so we talked about taking it to them. You know, unfortunately in the second half, I think it was part of being in our press, we picked up a lot of fouls too, um, and that hurt us, sent them to the line a lot. So we were feeling good, and again, I'm just super proud of our fight, and it didn't work out in our favor, but um, we fought, and we could have really caved in that first. What are the next steps for your team following this loss and going into, you know, preparing for next season? Yeah, we have a, we have a pretty, you know, young team. We turn a lot. We lose three seniors who we gave a lot of credit to in the locker room. Um, Three leaders are my first recruits and kids that would, you know, help turn a program around that was a very losing program. And we won a championship back to back and first time trip to the tournament. So, sorry about my mouth. That's okay. <laughs> Way straight to focal cord. Um, 
So a lot of credit to them um, for their leadership and guidance and, you know, getting the experience of being here. I think it's just going to make us come back tougher and stronger and, and work on the things that we got to work on. It's a really new group playing with each other. We get really deep. So it's really trying to just fine tune things and get better at our weaknesses in the off season. Awesome. Well, congratulations again, and thank you so much for you know taking some time to talk with me. Thank you awesome. so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Do you know how to get back down?